Sometimes in these videos I go for the element of surprise and try to get you to guess what I'm painting. This is not one of those times. Right now you're watching me paint a picture of a jellyfish. I'm painting it to hang in my studio as a reminder to me and I'm hoping it speaks into your life as well. No, I'm not a big jellyfish fan, nor are jellyfish particularly inspirational to me. I'm a person who spent most of my life very driven to accomplish goals. I always felt and still feel sometimes like I have something to prove. This has led to a lot of stress and frustration, but one day I was reading a book by one of my heroes, Phil Vischer, creator of the Veggie Tales, called Me, Myself, and Bob. In the book, Phil talks about his life, the veggies, and the rise and fall of his company, Big Idea Productions. I think every artist who wants to use his or her gift to serve the Lord should read this book. Here's what Phil had to say. I started a new company in 2005 called Jellyfish. Why the name? Well, jellyfish are cute and sort of silly, but there's a deeper meaning. Jellyfish can't locomote. They can't choose their own course. They can go up a little, they can go down a little, but to get anywhere laterally from point A to point B, they have to trust the current. For a jellyfish, long-range planning is an extreme act of hubris, lunacy really, and so it is for me. I believed I could change the world, and the weight of that belief almost crushed me, but guess what? Apart from God, I can do nothing. I can't get anywhere. I'm useless, spineless, without form. My ability to accomplish anything good is dependent on my willingness to dwell in the current of God's will, to wait on God and let Him supply my form and my direction like a jellyfish. And then he comes to this conclusion, God doesn't love me because of what I can do for him. He just loves me, even when I've done nothing at all. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5.8 says. That's wild, wild stuff. What a great quote. Here's the conclusion that I have come to. I spent most of my life living like a salmon, fighting and struggling to get upstream. But the funny thing about salmon is once they reach their goal, they lay a couple of eggs and die. Somehow that doesn't seem quite so worthwhile, does it? So I think I'm going to try to spend some time like a jellyfish, let go of my stress and my plans and just follow the lead of the Spirit and let Him take me where He wants me to go. In Philippians 4, 6, and 7, the Apostle Paul wrote, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. My big goal these days is to spend more time in prayer and follow the still small voice of God. Go where God leads and do what he says. I'm going to try to be a jellyfish, but not try too hard, because that would defeat the purpose. How about you?